Istoria, Imperatore, Gladiatore. The Colosseum, the Vatican, and the Gobblestones. Passionate, hectic, historical, cultural, historical, beautiful. History, great food, and good atmosphere. It could only be Rome, a city that inspires. Italy's capital is the stage for the season's third clay ATP World Tour Masters 1000 tournament, the Internazionale Biennale d'Italia, an event renowned for its fans and its fervor. The fans are, are great here. They always have great atmosphere in all of the, the matches, and it's packed from you know pretty much the first day. I think it's getting more and more packed every year, but that's a good sign for Rome and tennis in general. It's extraordinary the number of people here. You know, on the outside courts, it's full almost every day for every match. A great place, great setting. I always had a great love affair with, with fans and with Italian people and I think speaking a little bit of Italian helps to, to have this nice relationship and uh, I do sense a lot of support and a great feeling when I'm on the center court. It feels like being at home. There was plenty of support from the Italian fans during a special evening early on at the tournament, with tennis and football stars coming together for the Roma Cares Foundation. Next-gen player Nick Kyrgios amongst those joined by AS Roma superstar Francesco Totti for a sporting night like no other. It was, uh, it was an absolute pleasure and honour to be out there. You know, I know that he, uh, how much he means to the football world and then obviously in Italy as well. So it was just a lot of fun and uh, I would do that any day of the week. Every year, the Foro Italico provides a stunning location for a magical week. And with players arriving from the altitude in Madrid, they're eager for time on court in the new surroundings. The change in conditions, you know, playing at altitude last week, so balls are traveling through there quite quickly, whereas here it's a little bit more humid, but it's also very hot, so the court's much drier here as well than it was last week, so, you know, it's, it's, it's not easy, and that's why you've got, got to be ready for, for the first match, not expect. You know, anything anything easy, you have to work to, to get yourself into a rhythm again here and hopefully I can get off to a good start. It's a big change you now, the feeling on the ball is completely different and uh, it's a different story in general now. So I need to, to work hard the first few days here and I, I need to be ready for it and I, I know I have to play well, if not, I don't want to have chances. After his victories in both Monte Carlo and Barcelona this season, seven-time Rome champion Rafael Nadal was back amongst the form players, hoping for a very big week. I was watching him practice here the, the other day and the, the crowds love him. He's just so popular and he brings such energy and character and flair to, to men's tennis and I think he feels good in himself. I have been a, a very positive three weeks for me and you know, I'm excited to be in, <clears throat> in Rome again, a tournament that I, I know very well and is one of the most important events on the tour, so I'm just excited. Another man beginning to shine on the red dirt in 2016 was the runner-up last week in Madrid, Andy Murray. He was playing really well. I mean, he's moving so much better on clay and it's changing everything. His serve has improved, improved a lot, especially his second serve. So I think clay isn't an issue for him anymore. He can beat anyone on this. He played three sets against Rafael Monte Carlo. He was amazing against Novak. He's had a very, very good start to the clay court season. Only two players he's lost to were uh, Nadal in Monte Carlo, Djokovic in Madrid, you know, who are, you would say are the two uh, best players on clay at the moment. So yeah, he's going really, really well. Last week was obviously a positive week for me with some, some good wins against you know top players and then tough uh, tough match with Novak in the final. Obviously, you know, I would have loved to have won that one, but you know it was was good and hopefully I can have another good run here. The undeniable favourite in Rome though was a player fresh from victory in Spain, the defending Internazionale BNL d'Italia champion Novak Djokovic. If he plays at his best, he will be a contender for the title. That's the only sure thing in 2015-16 that Novak is going to play four titles. No, 
obviously very proud of what has been accomplished in Madrid last week. Um, we prepared well for, for that tournament and dropped only a set during, uh, throughout the, the whole tournament, which um, definitely gives me, gives me a lot of confidence and um, coming into Rome, you know, feeling good and hopefully I can have another good week. So the stage was set for more history making in the Eternal City. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, we're backstage at two events in Geneva and Nice. And we're looking forward to the big one. We preview this year's French Open. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and chat with us on the ATP's official social network, MyATP, powered by Vixlet, and on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you next week.